My name is Esther Frenchuk and I am a professional artist born and raised in Ukraine. I started my art career pretty early. When I was 15, I already got enrolled in the art college. I was doing exhibition. I was studying both fine art and graphic design kind of in the same time. So my faculty kind of include all kinds of creative assets in a way, which I'm super grateful for. Also the art academy in the Western Ukraine where I studied specifically fine art. It's interesting that only after I took the mastery program, I was able to find out my style and my artistic voice, which I'm super grateful for. I feel like I'm always full of ideas. Everything around me inspires me. When I used to travel a lot, and I still do travel, so it's like you constantly have this like a photo bump of all of the different images and all of the different uh, influences for different culture and you feel like sometimes even overwhelmed and over inspired all of these things that inspire you and speak to you like what is this one strong single message that is more important than anything else finding this one line or one thread uh, and one message that is uh, a core thing in your art is this one thing that will make it look cohesive all of your body of work and also that will strengthen your voice when i project i basically do pretty basic lines like you don't need to do anymore just like to map up general composition i put a lot of time into making sure my composition is already really good in the source i do prefer to project uh, when i have opportunity especially if i work a bigger scale because it just sets up the right proportion right away definitely saves time on production side so i like having canvas as pure as possible for the first layers of paint like how we used to do it in the art college before is basically like making this huge piece of paper with your composition then drawing like doing full size drawing first on the paper like not just a contour drawing right but like actual with all of the values with like shades and highlights like basically black and white of the painting but making it a drawing first and then we would uh, trace it on the big canvas to have as minimal lines it's good as you're learning but when you're moving into production you don't want to create every time this like huge full-scale drawing just to trace it on the painting so projecting works fine with me in this case yeah i just find it really helpful for the production part i just like to project really simple outlines and then I work more with um, charcoal. Lately I really love this yellow charcoal. I really like it for the variety of line and gifts and to draw with it is really fun because it gives such a life. Do I have charcoal on my forehead? No. No. Okay. I believe it's really important for every artist to really find like those processes that really makes you like happy and your heart pump and just like be stoked and excited about picking up the material. That's how I feel this graphite. It's not all about business. What I notice many artists do, they just uh, really go for the result. They want to paint in a specific style and they want to like create something really particular, but then they burn out because the process is not enjoyable. It could work for a time, but if you want to do art for a living and long term, it's really crucial to enjoy. I like going with a charcoal over the whole service, just creating this kind of drawing or graphic, but it's way lighter than if you do it with graphite because it's pretty forgiving and loose. And if you can like really easily take parts of it. So it's really just fun process and it creates a lot of initial mark making. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna collage. Also, I'm gonna create a bit extra visual texture with spray paint. I'm gonna see how this is gonna turn out. When I use spray paint, I basically just filling up space to speed up the process. When I just have this blank canvas, I'm just feeling really exciting looking at it and I imagine all of the process that lays ahead. It's a lot of adrenaline and drive in the first stages. It just feels like the most exciting part of the process, just being able to start fresh and put these first brush strokes and first marks. Also in this stage, I'm more expressive, I'm more free. I don't think so much of making it all and I just go wild and I use all of the materials that I can find and like whatever feels right to grab. It's really freeing part of the process. So I'm always like super thrilled to, to
to start working on a new painting. I like all of the art materials. I try to like limit them sometimes, it never really works because I just want to use everything I, I have. I really like to apply collage in my work because it just creates an extra texture, layering different textures and then brushing paint over them, making marks. The combination of everything is gives the most mature, satisfying look in the end of the painting. There's not any like specific formula of how to fit collage pieces into the piece. I just play around and turn them and see where I like them. When I choose pieces for the collage, I look for the papers that would give me either a nice visual or actual physical texture. And I prefer lately to have a real physical texture in the collage because it just really is like fun and surprising to find out all of this effect that it creates when layers of paint go on top of it. When you use like a lot of different art supplies, you always find out new ways how they behave with each other. That's the fun part about mixed media. I'm not like a super spontaneous artist, so usually I work the most time on actually creating a really good source that I like, and then I try to stick with it. Usually approximately I know with like which medium I would go in which places and how approximately it's gonna turn out, but of course there's a lot of place for happy accidents as well when things just and the pain and brush strokes just like kind of lay in a different way and sometimes I like it sometimes I don't sometimes I need to go back and fix some things and sometimes it just better than what I imagine. At this stage I'm starting like blocking more areas with brighter color start adding opaque paint to build the form and the painting starts to look like it's coming together it's really exciting because then you are reminded again that you could paint even though my process is really planned, uh, there's still a lot of space for finding out those experimental ways and just create something completely different from the original plan. But overall, of course, it looks like I imagined it in my head. I mean, it's close to it. I think I came pretty far in the first day. I'm really excited to work more tomorrow with uh, refinement and acrylic and also find the face more and just see it progress. Yeah, I really love it and I will see you tomorrow. I did pick a big canvas. I felt like uh, lately I was really compromising a lot what my heart truly felt like painting, which was to paint bigger sizes. But I was for so long in this mindset that it's harder to sell, like uh, I need to store it somewhere, like where would this um, painting even go? But in the same time, I felt like if I don't do it now, I, I would just not really be painting what I'm supposed to be painting. So it's day two. I'm super excited to keep working on this painting. I plan to work for how the whole canvas. I'll try to concentrate my attention on the wings and face first, and then kind of work all over in other areas, but will be coming back more here because I plan to do it a focal point. Art is really powerful and we have to prophesy for our nations and we have to paint hope and beauty and we have to talk about restoration and healing and we bring it into existence by doing so. Hi, my name is Ellie Milan and I am the founder of Milan Art Institute where we turn your passion for art into a profession. You just watched Esther paint an amazing painting and you saw all her really cool techniques. You heard her heart as she shared about her process and what it is she likes to paint. And I highly recommend that you watch the full version of this video on Art Club. What is Art Club? Art Club is super cool. There's artists from all over the world on Art Club. They participate in competitions every single month where you can win cash prizes. Also, there is a whole library of over 300 videos 
all about how to do these incredible techniques, some of which you just watched Esther do. We teach you how to draw, we teach you how to paint, mixed media, inks, all kinds of things. We give you lots of inspiration and motivation, lots of ideas on what to paint, and all kinds of challenges and community. You're gonna meet artists from all over and build friendships there. So you can try out Art Club today with a 14-day free trial by clicking the link below.